Hello there everybody and welcome to a game called Yi Xiang, the cultivation card game. This is now officially out in version 1 and it's actually free to play so it's worth jumping in and trying it out yourself. It comes with a few different elements that we're gonna dive in and have a look at today. Um, primarily the form of cultivation which is a nice interesting mechanic and it also um, there's a destiny mechanic, which is a bit hard to explain uh, for me at the moment, but it um, can affect the way that you actually play your deck. So we're going to jump in. Let's change our character. Ah, let's keep this character, actually. So this character is Mu Yi Fieng. I'm going to butcher these ones a little bit, we're, but we're going to learn while we're doing it. And um, so we're going to dive in. We're going to start a character. You can see these timers are nice and quick at the moment. But we have a whole bunch of different characters. I can't remember how many there are off the top of my head, but it must be like 20 or something. So, hidden all the names just because it's easier to do it that way. So what you've got is you've got your different phases, um, which is well worth going through, but we'll have a look at that in a minute. We've got 20 seconds to have a look here. So what we're going to do is just... Let's just do some of that. Let's do that, shall we? Sure. So what's going to happen is you've got your slot at the top here. It's going to order battle for you, running from left to right, uh, which is nice and easy. At the moment, we're in the meditation phase, which we'll jump through in just a second. So you can see that they've gone first because their cultivation uh, is one, which is slightly higher than us. And cultivation you get by combining cards uh, together to get their higher tiers or to actually just um, absorb the cards which is essentially like discarding them um, and the other option you can do with cards is actually exchanging them uh, for something else from your deck which is quite nice cool so we got a side job here these are things that you can actually unlock um, as you get currency you can unlock them so it's still free to play um I'm not sure what to do, so I'm going to go for a random one and see what we get. Right, so let's have a look. We can upgrade this. So you can see by dragging these two together, that's going to now do 11 attack. And if we injure someone, which is going through their defense, uh, we'll get the sword intent back, which is just a temporary stack, um, which is quite nice. Uh, let's have a look here. Cloud hit. This will give us the option to actually do an additional damage so we can't do anything there could actually do it this way if we wanted to not sure that was going to be the best one but that's what we're gonna do the time is quite short so we gotta uh we've gotta speed it up a little bit but all the different characters have got their uh kind of the decks that you can build with but there's so many different options that you can go through as you can see right in the beginning there we could have gone for a a uh, sword and ten type of build or we can go for builds that benefit like here from cloud hits so if you play other cloud swords in your deck you get the benefits from them looks like we're getting a lot of this flying fang sword so let's take advantage of that i'm going to join these two together so we get the additional cultivation uh let's go let's bring this chi in for a second i'll upgrade that one together let's go for the upgraded flying fang sword so we could do something like this. And in theory, we should never use up the sword intent. So sword intent, once you've hit someone with an attack, it will add the additional sword intent, which is plus two at the moment, uh, and then it will disappear. But since we aren't doing that, <laughs> we'll be okay. Uh, okay, let's do that. I want to exchange because we want to try and see what we can get. Light sword, not really interested in that. There's another one of those. Okay. So this is currently the way that we're going. We're going for a weird sword intent build. But you can see their cultivation was higher, so they went first. And if your cultivation's the same amount, it, it's going to be a 50-50. But then this guy is a bit of a strange one. So they have a whole bunch of different spirits that they can activate, which give them uh, different benefits. We're not doing very well in this this early game. Uh, 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. So the different phases uh, we get by cultivating some of our cards. So you can see here, here's one that increases our sword intense stacks by 80%, but we have to reach that phase, which is right at the end. So I'm going to just go with that uh, for the moment. And then we've got a breakthrough here. So we can have a look. If you do not attack this turn, add three defense or draw one side drop card. So let's draw a side drop card. So we have the ability now to do a whole bunch of additional things. <laughs> What are we going to want to do is the question, though. There's another sword intent. That will give us chi and sword intent. So continuous. Both player will lose three health. Mm. Mm. Let's upgrade that one quickly. This is a very weird sword intent build. He's got Physique there, which is something I don't actually know what that is. So we're learning as we go. So he's got Internal Injury on him. So he'll lose one health at the beginning of every turn for each Internal Injury he's got. So we might do well against this. I'm not actually sure. So we lose half of our defense every single turn. Ah, no, we're going to lose that one. Yeah. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Not interested in that one. Not interested in that one. So there's the Flying Fang Sword again. I'm trying to just make sure we're not going to get rid of that Sword Intent. Is ideally what I'm going through. So what we could do, actually, let's get rid of the Guard Chi. And then let's do this so that we can ignore defense. Maybe we actually bring this. Can you uh, squeeze in there, please? So we go sword intent, sword intent. Uh, sword intent. We have a lot of this, actually. <laughs> okay, okay. We got plans. We're making plans. <laughs> So it's good that we can ignore the defense, just in case anyone else is doing it. There we go. So three sword intents. We'll be stacking it up quite nicely, so that's going to be six. We're going to now ignore defense, which they may put up quite a bit. So they got five at the moment. So we're just going to go straight through with a hit for 17. There we go. So we're going to hit them for 17 again, and they've... Oh, they've lost max health. No. Just not quite enough damage there. Okay. Let's upgrade that. There was the key persuasion that we can upgrade again. That's a lot of key. So. If key is greater than two, make an additional attack. I don't really want to do that in particular. So the good thing about Sword Intent is if we added something like this, the Wind Sword, that does three times two, that Sword Intent, which whatever, how many we've got at the moment, that's six. Six. <laughs> um, is going to be on each of these. So it's going to be nine times two, uh, which is pretty good. Don't really want to go for you. I'm going to combine you. We have a key persuasion. So let's just join those two together. Cloud hits, not too worried about that. Exhaust sword intent, add one key point. Eh, not really worried about that one either. Ah, oh, we just got our breakthrough. Which we should have done. Alright. Hopefully this one goes a little bit better. But we need to make sure that we do it quite quickly because we are losing health every single turn. So ideally we're looking for chase cards. And that'd be quite good. So we're going to be ignoring defense this time around. Boom. There's a 17 hit there. We just need to survive one more turn. Bum. There we go. There we go. And then we still had this one at the end, uh, which would have done a little bit more damage for us. 
All right, let's have a look what our breakthrough is. Cloud hit effect can be triggered even if there's no cloud sword played first. That's pretty good. Cultivation minus one. We're not really using cloud hit at the moment, so... But there are chase... Hmm. You know what? Let's just go solid foundation. So this one's quite good. Two times three... My opinion, still better than that because it's going to be two plus all the sword intents, which I think was six at the time. So it's going to be six, 12, 18, uh, and it ignores defense, which is quite nice. So I think let's get rid of that one. So here we go. This is going to be a chase card, which is going to be quite nice. The downside here is you kind of want to build your sword intent up. So I'm going to keep that one for the moment just in case we can use it. Don't think we're going to use this one, but I feel like I want to keep it because we've actually upgraded it quite a bit. So 714. It might actually do more damage than this Trello, but this one will ignore defense. So there's a lot of things to try and work out, but it's also making it a lot harder when you're trying to talk about it. Um, yeah, so this guy, he's got hexagrams, which essentially anything that has a range like this, the opponent loses 3 to 13. It will just guarantee that that yeah, is the maximum, which is quite nice. There we go. So we're doing a little bit more damage now. So here's an 8, and that will give us Sword Intent 3. Now... The downside here is we haven't got any key to start with or chi uh, to start with. So we need to have a think about that. I'm going to exchange this one because I don't think we need it. I don't think we need that one. I'm going to get rid of this one. Sword Dance. So this would be key defense sword intent. Um, and the good thing about ignoring the defense here is because of this injured card, you need to make sure that you actually hurt them in order to get the uh, keep the sword intent. So I'm going to absorb that one. I'm not entirely sure what all the chase cards are for this class, which would be good to know, but I think it's helping that we're basically doing five damage each turn indirectly. So as long as we can survive it, which is nice because we are getting some defense. There we go. We're slowly whittling our way through there. Ignore defense. Ah, oh, they managed. Ooh, they might hurt us. Ah, oh. so force of water there was kind of like a dot, a dot damage. Um, not really interested in that one. Not interested in this one. Okay, we can upgrade that. That does a little bit more damage. So I'm just trying to see what we can get. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So the thing is, we could speed this up by removing perhaps this one. And then just going three. Hmm. Hmm. I do like this one over... Over this one. I don't think I'm interested in that. Oh, that would be a bit too... A bit too quick. Right, we got our breakthrough, which we'll have a look in just a second. 
Well, I think this was ours. So we start with the beginning of the battle, add one stack of sword and ten. And we got two cultivation as well, which is quite nice. There we go. So we got to remember that we got that card coming up that's going to increase our sword stacks by 80%, uh, which could be quite nice. There we go. Very nice. And they were right at the top, so... Good. Right. I had one sword intent. I really wish I could, but I don't really want to. That's <laughs> the uh, honest answer. So two attacks times four. Two attacks times four. I mean, it's not a bad one, but I like the fact that this ignores defense. If I'm being honest. I don't think we're going to go for that one. That's going to give us additional uh, Chi every turn, which means we could probably get rid of yeah, maybe these two. Bring this one into here. i got to remember what this is. Increase your... Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Defense key. I don't think we're really going to need a lot of key at all. Um, we could get rid of these two. Put sword intents to increase the sword stacks. Then do this. Or even increase the sword of stacks, then flying sword. All right, let's keep an eye on how much defense these guys have got around this point. Because if they're not building defense, then we don't really need to ignore it, do we? Because we just need to do health. So injured, if the attack of this card. Okay, okay. There we go. So this is it. He hasn't got a lot of defense. So we might not need to ignore defense there. Yeah, I don't think we would have needed to have done that. Okay. Okay. Both players' cards add to attack. That might not be bad if you've got, like, multiple things like that, but... Six attack. Nope. I kind of want to keep regen tune just in case. I don't want to get rid of key at the moment, although that sometimes can help. All right, if we do this. Uh, actually, we probably want to. Hmm. So two times four. I'm going to leave it like that because this one's going to do a lot of damage. So we might not need to ignore defense. All right. And let's keep an eye out on the, uh, the chi. I think we're in a good spot. Do with one more illusion tune and then we could bump that up. Because we've got... We're currently here. So this is minus seven. Ugh. We'll lose... Oh, well, we're adding defense. Okay, I guess that makes sense. But we're ignoring defense. All right. Okay. I thought it was remove defense and health. But that makes sense. All right, so she's got some regen on her. She's doing a lot of multi-hits. So glad I didn't put that uh, plus two to everything. Okay. So now we're ignoring defense, which is perfect. We're gaining a whole bunch of defense, which is perfect. Through the illusion tune, so we definitely want to ignore him. Ooh, nearly. 
I think if this was ignore defense. Perfect. Right, I think I'm going back this way for the moment. We're not using Cloud Swords, so let's exchange that. Hmm. Nope, don't need that one. I'm going to combine that. Let's absorb. No, I don't think we need that one either. Oh, there we go. So two times five. We got to remember that we're adding seven defense. So you kind of almost need another ignore defense. <laughs> or. Or. We do that. Which is 14. And then we smack them here with the five, the six. Ooh. Okay. And then we could get another continuous. Get another continuous. Hmm. Oh no, we've got this one. All right. Okay. 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 We're in a good spot. It's a pity this is only the next one attack. It'd be great if it was the next two attacks, we'd be spot on. We got plenty of, plenty of, uh, chi. There we go. All right, we're doing good. We're doing good. Right, so he's going to get a lot of defense, but we really do not care about it. Because uh, we're just going to go straight through. And he's losing minus seven every single turn. Boonk. There's a minus 20 for him. Yeah, he's gone. There's no way he's going to hit us hard enough, I don't think. And here we go. Perfect. All right, we've got our breakthrough now. So spring t course T will upgrade a card. Any level one card. I think I'll take that. Because the thing is, we can upgrade this one, which will then increase our sword stacks to 100%. So now we go here. And then let's do this. Uh, we can upgrade that one. Just perfect. That's more sword and in, uh, intent. Both players cannot trigger chase. I tell you what, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. I'm going to get rid of this one. I don't think we need it. We don't need illusion. We're not using that one. All right. So we can also have a look at some of these. Continuous both players lose four health when they attack. That might not be a bad idea because we don't really attack. We attack here and here. That's it. Hmm. Now we could get rid of that, which will then remove three, four. That will double it to eight. They can't chase, though. All right, we'll think about it. Let's see how many people are chasing at the moment. If you're going Cloud Sword, you could be chasing quite a bit. No, you're going Unrestrained Sword. All right. Which, which makes me kind of glad that we've got some form of defense. Because we're stacking up quite nicely. Although she is building to ignore defense. So that kind of sucks. But it'll eventually work, right? So we got 14 stacks. Ooh. That one hurt. 
What's the upgrade for this? Hmm. It is tempting, you know. I'm gonna get rid of this one. This is still tempting as well, so that we... Oh no, we've got ignore defense anyway, so... Hmm, I think we get rid of you. We're up against this one, who... I think attacks a lot. Alright, let's... Let's take this one. Let's get rid of this... Okay. Oh, I should have kept this all defense. I'm not sure why I actually uh, got rid of it. I think I'm okay with that. I think I'm okay with that. So we only attack a couple times. Now, the downside is we have to wait all the way until here. Which... Could be a problem. Actually, hang on. Hang on. Sword intent, double it. Attack multiple. Yes, we don't get it from there. But I think I'm okay with that. I think I'm okay with that. We'll get the burst damage out quicker, I believe, if I've done this right. Because we really aren't producing a lot of sword stacks. Okay. Oh yeah, we're we're gonna be in big trouble. <laughs> we are in trouble. Um what do we got here? Gotta just draw a card. I don't need that one. Don't need that one. Hmm. I feel like we need to bring in Sword Intent back. Yeah, I'm not sure about this one. What else have we got here? Three Destiny. We're kind of running out here. We'll take the two max health afterwards. All right, we could be in trouble. We could be in trouble. All right, let's see what happens. We got a nice amount of uh, cultivation, so that's good. This, is, this guy's got quite a nice build actually. We're not doing too badly. I think we'll be all right. We might survive this next one. It's against this one who's got a lot of, a lot of attacks and a lot of regens. So we'll see. There we go. We haven't got a way of recovering some of our health either. So, we kind of shot ourselves in the foot here a little bit. The thing is, they're not really doing a lot of damage to us either at the moment. Because they're not going to be able to get through our defenses. Yeah, they got Flow of Water, but I don't think Flow of Water goes through defense. So I think we win this one. Maybe? Oh, yes! <laughs> they, were, they were racking up those Force of Waters very quickly. All right. That's a little bit better. Or well, the next card in your deck is a musician card. 
I don't think we have a musician card at the moment. Nope. Uh, we can't upgrade that one. I'll get rid of this one for then. Nope. Hmm. No keek for this. Okay. Hmm. I don't think there's much we can do at the moment. I mean, that worked. <laughs> it upgraded that one. Uh. Hmm. Got to think about it. Although this is an unrestrained sword build, which is going to hurt quite a bit, is the uh, the honest answer. So we can build up defense, but they're just going to wreck us. Yeah, they're going through chase, ignore defense again. If we... Ooh. <laughs> I don't think we were going to survive much longer because that was going to hurt. All right, we took them out. We took them out. Uh, sword and ten, he plus sword and ten, three. Okay, not too worried about that. Nope. 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 Can you not? How about nope? Can't do anything more with that, so... Anything we can grab here? Nope. Now, what happens if you... What happens if you do, like, that? Uh, not like that. What happens if you do something like this? Do you think we make it that long? I don't know. I don't think we make it that far. You know what? Let's... Let's try it, shall we? We're in the top three. Let's try it. I don't think we make it that far, if I'm being honest. Oh, they got loads of things. Loads of hexagram stuff. We're going to be taking loads of damage from them. Oh, yeah, we don't even... We don't make it that far. Yeah, we're going to kill ourselves. <laughs> All right. I accept that one. I accept that one. But it's top three. We've leveled up there as well, which is quite nice. So we can see some of the level ups. This is the battle pass, but nothing too, too major to worry about. You've got your coins that will help you unlock new additional characters. So we can have a look here. Level one, we got the avatar. Level two, we got some jade, uh, which is quite nice. And now we got some breakthrough immortal fate slots, uh, which is well worth it. You can see as we go through, you kind of unlock additional things. But it's predominantly until you get to level five. That's kind of what you want with all the characters. Uh, and then let's have a look here. We've got some missions as well. So we can claim the 500 spirit stones. We haven't got any of the achievements, so there's loads of achievements that you can do as well. However, we are close to unlocking an additional character, uh, which would be quite good. So you can see here it's 3,600. I believe we've got 3,500 and something. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a really good game. And if you guys want to see some more, definitely worth letting me know in the comment section down below. And uh, with that, guys, thank you very much for watching. And I will catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.